Welcome. This is the webinar on how to market your product onto HSN or QVC. And my name is John McClare. I'm so glad you're with us today. Let me give you a little bit of my background. I've been launching products for a long time, and I started my marketing career at the University of Chicago Graduate School of Business. Now, I went there because I wanted to go to a top five MBA program so I could really learn how to market products, how to launch products. That was always my dream. While there, I discovered, you know what? I learned a lot. It was a great school, but they don't really teach you on how to market a product if you're an inventor or an entrepreneur, maybe if you're a big company. But the techniques they had just weren't appropriate for me. So I left there when I graduated, and I went to Kraft Foods. And there I had the great pleasure and, frankly, the great opportunity to learn how to market big brands like Planters and Nabisco. I managed new products and launched many of them very successfully. But I learned that, you know what, this isn't going to help me either. I learned a lot of great strategies and techniques, but most of them were applicable if you had a $2 million budget to launch products, but not for a small strapping entrepreneur like I was at the time. So there I went, from there, I went to OxyClean, what I regarded then and, and frankly still regard as the most successful infomercial company in the industry. And it really was. It was a great training ground. ground. I learned from the entrepreneurs, the actual guys that launched out of their garage, Max Apple, Joel Apple, and David Apple. They started this as a family business and ran it until 2006 till they sold that family business to a big conglomerate, Church and Dwight, for $325 million. Not a bad payday. I took that opportunity when the company was sold to leave and start my own business to help others to use the same approaches, the same strategies that we'd so successfully used at OxyClean and help them to do so with small budgets, unlike I could do at Kraft Foods and unlike I learned at the University of Chicago. And I have loved teaching ever since. And one of my favorite people to teach with is my good friend, Bob Sercosta, who's here today with us in this webinar to help you learn specifically how to market your product onto HSN or QVC. Let me do a quick introduction about Bob. If you haven't watched HSN, you may not have seen him as much as, as others have. But if you do watch HSN, you've seen him for a long time and quite often. He's been very, very successful there since day one. Bob is actually there. He'll tell you more about the story. But the very first day HSN was founded, back when it was a radio station, he's been there ever since, over 37 years. He has logged over 10,000 hours on live TV selling products. Nobody even comes close to that. He's done over 25,000 pitches on live TV, unique product pitches. Again, nobody has that experience, and you have the opportunity to hear from Bob tonight. And you know what is great about Bob is he's been very successful, but he's also a phenomenal teacher. So pay attention during this webinar. You're going to learn a ton. You'll be able to apply it to your business today, I promise you. And make sure you stick around to the end. We have a Q&A session where we'll answer some of your questions that will come in through the, through the chat box, as well as we have a special offer that's only available through this webinar that you'll want to want to hear. You'll be able to learn a lot more beyond uh, today's, what we're, what we're able to teach in this next hour. So, Bob, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. We're glad to have you here with us for this webinar. Hey, John, a pleasure as always to be with you, my dear friend, and uh, and everyone else joining us here on this very special webinar. As, as I pointed out, uh, you know, uh, during some of our other previous calls or what you saw on the landing page, we're going to share information with you tonight that you cannot get anywhere else. This is information that is unique. You're not going to learn it out of any book. You're not going to be able to go to any school. Uh, and, and, and as John pointed out uh, uh, a moment ago, you're not going to learn it from any course or anything like that. So this is information that's real, information that you can use to take whatever it is that you have and take it to the next level. So uh, we put together a little PowerPoint that we're going to share with you, of course, uh, to kind of take you through the process. But I want you to be thinking of your product, your service, your business or your idea, and what we're going to talk about is how to get a product on a TV shopping channel. And then we're going to broaden it out and talk even more about other forms of TV. Uh, John mentioned a moment ago, I've, I've had the very good fortune to be in this particular business for the past over 37 years. And one thing that I have learned over all these 37 plus years is this that if you want to successfully market what you have, successfully market whatever it is you have, anything, anywhere, you have to have two important keys. And you can't have just one. 
You have to have both of these in order to maximize your marketing efforts. And I've identified them and initialized them over the years with the letters P and D. And they stand for presentation and distribution. Presentation and distribution. You've got to have both of these keys if you want to maximize your marketing efforts. Now, let's drill down a little bit on those. What do we mean by presentation? Well, presentation happens to be your message. It is uh, your mission. It's, it's your pitch, okay, your message. You could have a great product, a great service, uh, maybe have an idea that could truly help a lot of people, but if you can't communicate it, effectively, if you can't uh, create the need for it, so to speak, if you can't get others to respond to what you have, then obviously you're not going to get the kind of sales uh, that you want. So you have to have the right presentation. But in addition to that, you also have to have the effective distribution. Now, what do I mean by distribution? Well, where are you going to market what you have? And, and who is your customer? Who's your potential customer? Uh, in other words, what is your market? Have you clearly identified what your market happens to be? Now, once again, maybe you've done the distribution part, but you don't have a great message, or you have a great message, but you're in front of the wrong people. So that's why I say you've got to have both of these, the presentation and the distribution in order to market successfully what you have. And there are all different forms of distribution out there. However, what we're going to talk about on this call, the most powerful words in marketing, which happen to be as seen on TV. We are all familiar with as seen on TV. As a matter of fact, there are even retail stores now that, uh, that have uh, you know, designated aisles, designated spots in their stores uh, to just as seen on TV products. So the, the quicker that you can label what you have as, as seen on TV, and by the way, this is not copyrighted, this as seen on TV logo, it can be used as, uh, by anybody. I mean, you have to have been seen on TV, obviously, but it can be used by anybody out there, and it's powerful it, when, when you use that label with your particular product. Now, there are all different forms of TV marketing, and, and it falls under an umbrella that's called direct response. And simply put, simply defined, what direct response is, is the uh, situation when I'm able to uh, offer a product or service directly to the consumer, and they are able to respond directly back to me. That, that's a very simplified definition of direct response. And there are different forms of direct response. You could have television infomercials, which John's going to talk about a little bit later in this webinar. And, and the infomercials, you know, we, we see late at night, uh, 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, when we can't sleep uh, many, many times, and, and, and we get up and we watch. And there are two different types of infomercials. Uh, when it comes to TV, the 30-minute variety, and that's the one we all see overnight, and then also the two-minute spot that we see at various times during the day. Uh, so those are television infomercials. That's part of direct response. Also a part of direct response separately, TV shopping channels. TV shopping channels, HSN, QVC, Shop HQ, Jewelry Television. The list goes on and on and on powerful, powerful way for entrepreneurs to get their product to market. And it's a very cost-effective way, too. You, you, you'll be surprised to find out how you really don't have to lay out a lot of money in order to get your product on a TV shopping channel. We'll talk more about that in, in, in just a little bit. But it all started, the TV shopping channels, by the way, the industry today, today, just in this country, is over 12 billion dollars. That's just in the United States. But TV shopping channels now are all over the world. And, and we'll talk more about that too. But the TV shopping industry actually started not on TV, <laughs> but it started on radio, a very small radio station in Clearwater, Florida. It was WWQT 1470 on your AM dial. And this was a news talk formatted radio station. And uh, in addition to everything else, it was possibly the world's worst radio station, too. <laughs> I mean, we just didn't have very many listeners on, on this radio station because it was just, it, it just wasn't that great of a station. You know, that happens. 
Well, when you don't have a lot of listeners, it's difficult to get a lot of advertising. And, uh, and, and one thing that happened uh, at that time was that the owner of the station, Bud Paxson, he would go out and he would, uh, he would try to get advertising on the station. And he'd sell a few contracts here and there. And uh, one time he sold uh, an advertising contract to an appliance store. And so the appliance store for 13 weeks on my talk show, advertise, we advertised their, their goods and their services and urged people to go into the appliance store and everything. And at the end of the cycle of 13 weeks, Bud went back in to collect on the bill, and uh, Bud walked in and met with the owner of the appliance store and said, I'm here to renew your uh, advertising contract. And the owner of the store looked at him and said, renew? Re re renew what? And then he said, you know, not one person has come in here and said they even heard my commercial. Uh, <laughs> that's how bad, you know, our radio station was at that time. And then furthermore, the owner of the station said to Bud, you know what, I'm not going to pay you for the advertising because I didn't get the results. Well, you can imagine Bud's response was, that's not the way this works. We had an agreement. So they went back and forth, back and forth. Long story short, at, at the end of the conversation, the owner of the station said, you know what, Bud, here's what I'll do. Instead of paying you cash for the advertising, instead of doing that, I'll, uh, I, I just had a big shipment back by the door of, you know, you see boxes back there of merchandise. Take a box of merchandise. All true now. So Bud had no idea at this time what he was going to do with the merchandise, uh, but he felt better, I think, leaving with something in his hands. And so he got in the car, came back to the radio station, and, and uh, I was on the radio taking a little break, and he walked in the booth, and, and he was holding in his hands this electric can opener. Now, this was uh, 37, so this was 1977. Uh, this was a, a very ugly looking avocado green electric can opener. And he said to me, he said, Bob, when you come out of the news, I want you to sell this can opener. And I looked at him like he had three heads. And I remember saying, wait, you want me to sell something? I, I, I don't want to, I'm a newsman. I don't want to sell. You know, I have morals and ethics, and I, I don't want to. And then he explained to me the relationship between me selling the can opener and me getting a check. And instantly, that can opener looked pretty good. And so we came on the air, and we started describing the can opener, avocado green. And I, I said, if you call me up right now, come on down to the studio, reserve this, and, and pay for it. It's yours. And that day, we sold 112 electric can openers. That was the beginning. That was the beginning of the entire home shopping industry that started on radio. It stayed on radio for five years until the year 1982. And then uh, local cable television took effect here in the Clearwater, Florida area. And so we leased a TV channel on the local cable station, just still in Clearwater. That was 1982. And then 1985, we went nationwide. And as they uh, often say, the rest is history. And uh, in the early 90s, we uh, generated over a billion dollars in sales, annual sales of over a billion dollars, just HSN. So now the entire industry here in this country is, is uh, generating over $12 billion, as I said a moment ago. 1985, that's when we launched Coast to Coast, when nationwide. What you're seeing right now is a copy of the original script in 1985 that I typed up on a on a typewriter. I don't even think they have typewriters anymore, do they? But I typed it up and then Bud went back in and scratched things out and uh, said this and this and made changes and everything. And that was the beginning. That was the beginning of an entire nationwide broadcast. And of course, the press followed. And uh, as I said a moment ago, the, the, the rest is history. And now it's a multi-billion dollar industry. So it started as the Home Shopping Club, it went to Home Shopping Network, and now it's HSN in St. Petersburg, Florida. And uh, just so happy to be uh, still, you know, affiliated with them in a way that I bring them products, and they're always, you know, calling me and asking, uh, have you found any new products out there? Or how about this? How about that? This is what we're looking for. Can you find this? I still go on the air quite often uh, and, and, and just thoroughly enjoy it. But again, it's not just in this country anymore. TV shopping channels are all over the world. You pick a country, and chances are that country has its own TV shopping channel, Germany or China. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Practically any country around the world has its own TV shopping channel. And, and what's interesting is that all of the international channels are affiliated in some way with the domestic channels. And what's great about that is that if you get a product on a domestic channel, 
uh, you know, they notice you internationally right away because they're monitoring all of the different channels. So that transition to go from domestic here in the United States to worldwide is a, uh, is a very doable thing. And uh, because you're going to have the exposure, so the industry, the industry is just the best in the world. It's a, it's a phenomenal industry. But let's get to the topic that we're talking about right now. Can your product, or your idea, or your service, or your business, can it be marketed on a TV shopping channel? That's the question you should be asking right now of what you have. Well, I put together a test years ago that uh, that will help you know if what you have could be marketed on a TV shopping channel. And I'm going to ask you eight questions. And if you can answer yes to three or more of these eight questions, chances are you've got something that has the potential to be marketed on a TV shopping channel. So what I want you to do right now while you're, while you're answering these questions, I want you to think about that product that you have or that service that you offer that could be turned in to a tangible product. Or if you have an idea for something, but for the sake of this test, I want you to think about that idea as a finished product, okay? And, and that way you'll be able to answer this more accurately. So here we go. The first question is, what you have is a demonstrable. In other words, can you demonstrate what you have? And there are different forms, different levels of, of, of demos, uh, as they're often called, demonstrations. Uh, a dem one a simplistic demonstration would be a dirty floor, and then you apply uh, the product, and then it becomes a clean floor. Now, that's a very simplistic demonstration, but it's a demonstration. So can you visually, can you demonstrate what it is that you have, yes or no? And, and you've got to keep in mind that the TV shopping channels, it's, it's a visual medium, so you've got to keep it alive, and you've got to keep it visual. So number one, what you have is a demonstrable. Here's number two. Does what you have result in instant gratification? Or does someone have to wait six months, seven months, ten months, a year in order to be gratified by it? Uh, the, the TV shopping channel business is an impulse business. It's an impulse buy. And, and uh, you know, you have to appeal to the instant gratification. Does your product, service, or business, or idea do that? Yes or no. Number three, does what you have appeal to that impulse that I just mentioned a, man, a moment ago? See, everything in the TV shopping industry, because in all of TV, there, there's a rating system. Nielsen ratings, Arbitron ratings. Well, in the TV shopping business, there's also a rating system, and it's called DPM, dollars per minute. Everything is regulated by time. Everybody thinks, well, I got to go on and sell all. I got to sell out. I have to sell every product. I, that's not the, the goal. Believe it or not, is is not to sell out. Well, here's the goal: to sell the most amount of product in the least amount of time. Most amount of product in the least amount of time. That's the goal, because that's what will generate the dollars per minute for you. And so, if, you know, does what you have you know, uh, uh, appeal to one's impulse that will help you conserve the time. Number four, does what you have solve a problem? This is huge, folks. People with ideas contact me all the time, and they say, Bob, I've got this idea or that idea. Do you think it'll work? And my first question always back to them is, okay, what problem is your idea solving? And you have to be able to, to explain that laser-like. Okay, what problem are you solving? Because when you go on a TV shopping channel, that's what it's about. It's about identifying the problem and then solving the problem. All right, so what you have right now, ask yourself, does it solve a problem? Here's number five. Does what you have, does it create an emotional need? Now, you may not quite understand what do I mean by that emotional connection. But if we have more time to get into this and, and, and really uh, uh, get in solely to your particular product, service, or idea, I can explain the, the power of that emotional need and also the formula in which to get you there uh, to be able to communicate it effectively. But the emotional connection, making that connection between what you have and the other person watching is of paramount importance. So are you able to do that with what you have? Here's number six. What you have, is it easy to use and understand? 
Now, that might sound kind of obvious, but once again, we go back to the importance of time. We go back to the, the importance of creating that, that message. Remember what I said at the beginning, the presentation, the mission, the message, the pitch? You've got to be able to craft that and communicate that in a way that people can respond quickly. Number seven, does what you have, does it make one's life easier? Does it, now think about it for a second. Does it make, what you have, does it make somebody's life easier? Or are you asking someone to use what you have and they have to really stretch way outside their comfort zone? There's nothing wrong with going outside the comfort zone. That's how we all grow as individuals. But I'm talking about way outside the comfort zone. What you have, can somebody use it within their life routine? Very, very important. Yes or no? Here's number eight. Does what you have, does it have mass appeal? The TV shopping channels go into millions and millions of TV homes across the country. So you can't go on the air if you only have five of something or three of something. You have to have, you know, quantities, and we'll talk more about that in a little bit too. But it has to have that mass appeal, that mass understanding. The ma it cannot be. See, if you have something that's not for the masses, then what you have is a niche product. And there's nothing wrong with, with a niche product as long as you clearly identify what that niche is. That goes back to what I said at the beginning, the distribution part. You've got to clearly identify what your market is. So those are eight questions right there. And, and again, if you answered yes to three or more of those, then we, we need to talk a little further about what you have because you have something that has the potential to be marketed on a TV shopping channel. So, you know, did, did you answer yes? How many, how many questions did you answer yes to? Three or more? You know, let's definitely get together. So let's talk very, very briefly in the time that we have here on this webinar. Let's talk about that process. Now, the process is going to change a little bit here and there depending upon the, the particular TV shopping network. But the information that I've put together for you is, is general, generally what you're, you're going to have to do in that process to get your product on a TV shopping channel. We're talking about HSN, QVC, Shop HQ. Of course, my heart's with HSN. You know that. So, uh, so let's, uh, let's see if we can make it happen for you. First of all, let's talk about the process. Your finished product, you've got to have a finished product. You submit that to the appropriate buyer or the merchandise team at the TV shopping channel that you're going after. Now, it's important, number one, to really understand the difference between all the TV shopping channels. And they are very different in, in, in what the viewers expect from the TV shopping channels. So studying the TV shopping channels, uh, getting more knowledge about them, will really help you better place what you have on the right TV shopping channel. Many people have asked me, what's a TV shopping channel like? It, it, and, and here's my answer. If you think of a retail store, let's say a Macy's or Saks or Nordstrom's, any of the retail stores, what is their infrastructure? They have buyers. They have an infrastructure of many, many people doing many different things in that retail operation. Now, if you think about a TV channel, a TV network, what do you think of? Well, their infrastructure has cameras and producers and directors and, and, and all sorts of other roles that are played in order to accomplish their goals. If you put those two together, a retail operation and a TV network, you come up with a TV shopping channel. So at all the TV shopping channels, you have buyers that cover particular product categories. So you have to identify who that is, and then your finished product has to be submitted to them. They're going to look at it. They're going to, they may say, well, I need to take it to a committee or for them to talk about it further. Uh, they may not decide on the spot if they want it or not. Uh, so there's many different variables here, but you've got to have that product ready, and, and you've got to be prepared when you are presenting it to a buyer at a TV shopping channel. And here is something that is so important, and a lot of people overlook this, and this causes a delay, and sometimes it causes a turndown of the product. You need to establish the price that you're going to sell the product to the TV shopping channel. The TV shopping channel is going to pay you X for each unit. That's what they're going to pay you. 
and then they take the difference. That's how they make their money, okay? But what are they going to pay? So you need to know what that price is before you even go and meet with them. Because if you're not dealing with the right numbers and they say X and you say okay, then that might cut into your profit if you're not aware of everything that is involved. And there are a lot of things involved because you really need to consider the following when you are thinking about, okay, what is that price that I want to take it to a TV shopping channel? First of all, you've got to really talk and identify and think about the actual cost of goods of what you have. The actual cost of goods. What does it cost to make what you have? But in addition to that, you've got to also figure in a cost for what is called a packout. And many people don't even realize what a packout is. And if you're not in the TV shopping business, then you, then you wouldn't know, of course. But a packout is is you know what the fulfillment center is going to do in order to pack your product. You know, if they have to put it in this box, a, a small box, it goes into a big box, whatever. Rule of thumb is that every time that somebody at the fulfillment center has to touch your product, it will cost you a dime. That's, that's a rule of thumb. That might change, okay? But there are certain fulfillment centers around the country that really spe uh, specialize with the TV shopping channels, and that's who you need to work with, one of them, because they will save you a lot of heartache, they'll save you a lot of time, and they'll save you a lot of money. But you've got to factor in that pack-out price uh, for in addition to your cost of goods. If you're going to have somebody go on and be a spokesperson for your product, uh, you, ha you have to pay them. And, and that can be 3 4 5% uh, of, of the wholesale or what have you. I mean, that will vary depending on the person. Uh, then if you're going to have a what's called a product rep, if you're going to have somebody actually take the product in there and get the appointment with the buyer and then navigate that product through the internal process of, of getting it through, which I'll identify here in just a moment, you've got to pay them a percentage. And, and generally speaking, it's about 10%. Uh, you know, that can vary, that can go up and down. So these are things that you've got to take into consideration when you're trying to identify, okay, what's that price that I want to be paid per unit on so I'm still making a profit? Now let me break down an example of a product and how everything applies to that, okay? Maybe, and maybe this will help you apply to your product. Uh, this is a, an electric toothbrush, let's say. We're just using it as an example. And these numbers are all general, okay? The retail price of the toothbrush, let's say, is $19.95. The wholesale of that is $10, all right? Ten, in other words, you're going to be paid $10 for that product. So every unit that they order of the toothbrush, you're getting $10. Now, you may say, whoa, I made $10 per piece. No, 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 no. Out of that $10, you've got to take out all of your costs, your actual cost of goods. Let's say it was $2 for this toothbrush. The cost of the pack out for each product, let's say it was a dollar. The spokesperson, 5% of the on-air price, that's a dollar. Uh, the product rep, 10%, that's another dollar. Okay, you see how that breaks down? You've got to subtract all those things. So your total cost of goods was not just what it cost to make the product, it was everything else. And in this example, it totaled out to be $5, your total cost of goods. The on-air price was nineteen ninety-five. That's to the viewer. The TV shopping channel again paid you ten dollars per unit. Your cost of goods total was five dollars. So your profit was five dollars. You might have thought initially your profit was ten dollars. The profit was five. Now you might be saying, "Wait a minute! I'm only going to make five dollars." I mean, that's not very much. Well, you have to think of, of a term that we coined years ago called velocity selling. Velocity selling. So making $5 on each unit may not sound a lot, like a lot right now, but how about if you sell 10000 in one day? How about if you sell 15000 I had a product on just last week, and in one day we sold 31000 of them. It was a water filter. And, and, and it was thirty nine ninety five. so you're looking well over a million dollars in just one day. The profit was small per piece, but the volume of 31,000 units, you know, out of this world, it all adds up. So you've got to keep in terms of, of velocity selling, all right? So now that you've established what the price is, when you go in and meet with the buyer, you know that you want 
uh, $10 for each product, let's say. Now you become a vendor. And, and you've got to keep in mind throughout this entire process, it's going to sound very overwhelming to you. It's going to sound very confusing to you. You're also going to be thinking, how in the heck am I going to remember to do all this? You, you're not alone, all right? Once you meet with a buyer and you are assigned merchandising assistance, they guide you through this process. When they're not getting the information that they need, they're calling you to say, hey, I need to know this, I need to know that. They are guiding you through the process. They do it day in and day out to simplify it for you. So the next step is you need to become a vendor. You need to become the vendor of record, and your merchandising assistant and buyer will make that happen for you, okay? And the reason why you want to become the vendor is because that's who gets the check. All right. So you want to remain the vendor because you're going to receive the check and then you're going to pay, uh, you know, all of your expenses and everybody else. Uh, communication in this process, this whole process, communication is key, my friends. So you want to talk to your, your uh, buyer and your uh, assistant buyer and merchandising assistant all the time. And they'll be talking to you, believe me. There's something called a spec sheet that you've got to fill out about your product. And they, they ask you every imaginable question. Uh, they will know more about your product in many instances that you'll know. Uh, they, they really will know your product inside and out. But you'll, you'll fill out a spec sheet, you know, things you want to say about the product, claims you want to make, uh, the, the, the size, the color, the dimensions. All of those tiny details uh, are filled out. You have to fill that out. You have to coordinate packaging and, and shipping information with the shopping channel. Then you submit all of this information to what's called QA, Quality Assurance. And these, will, these folks at Quality Assurance will become your best friends. Number one, they are so knowledgeable. They can help you so much in so many different ways. They will tell you, no, you cannot say this on the air, or you can say this on the air. You can make this claim. You can't make that claim. But they will help you in, in saying what you want to say about the product. And they will help you, again, in so many different ways. So once you've been approved by QA, you've met with the buyer, the buyer wants the product, now you become a vendor, now you submit all of the written information. Once again, you, you know, there's hand-holding here, all right? They're going to tell you exactly what it is you need to do and how to do it. Then you, you uh, are approved by QA. They'll send you an email saying that you are approved. Now, they may send you an email before that saying you're not approved and here's why, and they'll also suggest to you what you need to do to get them approved. All right, so let's say you're approved. The next thing is you get a purchase order. That's what we all want. We want the PO, the purchase order, when they say how many units that they're going to order at what price, uh, you know, where to ship them to. This is why you want to work with that fulfillment center that specializes in the TV shopping industry because they can help you out. So now everything is set up. You are waiting for your on-air time, and, and typically... Uh, when, when you go on the air, you'll have multiple airings over a couple of days. You won't come in and, and just do one show, basically, and that's it. You, you'll come in and do a few shows uh, over the course of 24 to 48 hours uh, because they put you in different time slots. Uh, they, they put you exactly where they want. It's totally up to the TV shopping channel how many minutes you're on the air, when you're on the air. You have no say in that. They know best because they live this every single day. So they know the proper placement of what it is that you have. Now, while you're waiting for this, you've got to prepare. You've got to train. You've got to get your, your pitch ready. You've got, to, you've got to get lots of things ready. So you've got to prepare for that. Now let's say it's your big day. Your big day has arrived. You will fly to the location because everything in the TV shopping channels, it's all live. It's all done live, folks, okay? So if you're going on HSN, you're flying to St. Petersburg, Florida. If you're going on QVC, you're flying to Westchester, PA, outside of Philadelphia. If you're going on uh, Shop HQ, you're going to Minneapolis, Minnesota. That's where they are. That's where you got to go. So you fly to the network. They coordinate all of this for you. You have to pay for that. Those are your expenses. But they coordinate everything to make sure you get there on the right day and things like that. I always say bring samples of your product because that will help you uh, to assure that they will have on the set exactly what it is you have. Now it's showtime, all right? It's clearly identify when you're going on the air. Right before you go on the air, you might, depending upon your product, you, you might have some uh, scheduled meetings, okay, before your appearance. Uh, you may be meeting with the legal department at the TV shopping channel. 
especially if you have a product that's going to make health claims or medical claims. Uh, the, the legal team wants to meet with you so they will understand what it is you're going to say this, so you stay within the legal parameters of making statements on the air. Uh, you'll go through a guest orientation program where they'll take you through the studios, show you the cameras and things like that. Uh, you'll meet the hosts. Uh, you'll meet a lot of people before you go on. Now, so you go on the air and you do it. What happens if you don't sell all the merchandise? I'm asked this question all the time. And, and the answer, there are many variables to that, okay? There are two ways that you will be paid in the TV shopping channel industry. Number one is what's called guaranteed sale. Now, it's not really what we would like it to be, what it sounds like, guaranteed, that the sales are not guaranteed. Uh, think in terms of consignment. All right, that's what guaranteed sale is. So they may have you ship a 1,000 units uh, to, to the TV shopping channel, but they may only sell 500, and after a couple of shows, they still have 500 left, they're going to send those back to you. Okay, that's consignment. The other is called net 30, which is when they buy the inventory. They buy your, your inventory of product, and they own it, and you get paid in 30 days. Uh, so that's how that works. And, there, you know, that's negotiable, and that's within uh, the conversation that you're having with the buyer. But those are, those are different ways in which to get paid. So, and, and I know I'm taking a, bit, a lot of information, kind of distilling it down here, but I just want to give you as much information as I can in our, our very limited time. And I hope we can get together in, in the future with the luxury of time so we're able to uh, you know, talk more about it specifically about what it is that you have. And, and, and again, we're, we're called every single day uh, you know, by the TV shopping channel saying, hey, we're looking for stuff. Because think about it this way. TV shopping channel, they're on 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right? So you can imagine the amount of product that they go through. And that's great for, for all of us because they need product. You know, they, they, they need to fill product. They need to fill the airtime with product. So here's, here's a simplification kind of a summary of what we've talked about, what I call the path of a product. First of all, you meet with the buyer. That's number one. After you've already done the legwork about, you know, how much uh, I need from this product and all of that. You meet with the buyer, uh, the TV shopping channel, they will make the decision regarding your product. They make the decision. They all have program schedules. Uh, they all have uh, ideas of where your product might fit into their program schedule. And, and if they don't want your product, that doesn't mean your product's bad. It just means it doesn't fit in that particular medium. There are other ways of distributing your product out there. So this is just the TV shopping way. Uh, all the product, all the support information, uh, all that information that I talked about earlier needs to be submitted to QA, to quality assurance. If you have what's called that category A product, medical claims, health claims, uh, then you need to send products to the legal department so they can look at it. Uh, the product is then assigned to what they call the program grid, which is a program schedule, because many of the shows on the TV shopping channels are kind of themed. Uh, so it, it might be Tuesday night, it might be jewelry. Uh, Wednesday night, it might be something else. It might be beauty on Thursday or fashion or what, what have you. So they have to take what you have if they want to carry what you have, and they have to fit it into their program grid their program schedule. But once again, everybody is there to support you throughout this entire process. Uh, you, if, if you are going on the air or somebody else is going on the air, that person has to be approved. So you have to make a video of yourself or whoever the spokesperson is going to be. You have to submit that to the TV shopping channel, and they will decide whether that's the person that should go on the air. Uh, then you arrive at the studio, and then at showtime, as I said a moment ago, and then you go out and you sell out. And when you sell out, then you get reorders, and you get to come back and do it again and again. And it is a great, great business. So once again, I don't mean to oversimplify everything, but I want to give you as much information as, as I possibly can on, on how to get your product on a TV shopping channel. And again, I hope we have more time in the future that we can specifically look at what you have and say, okay, this is the way we should go. Here's the price this should be. Here's the configuration. Here's where this will fit and, and, and all of that type of information. But I'm going to turn it back over to my good friend John LeClaire, and he's going to take it the rest of the way. We're also going to have question and answer period uh, a little bit later on. So uh, so stay tuned, as they say, because 
but wait, there's more. <laughs> and there is. John, are you there, my good friend? Bob, how are you? Thank you so much. This is so helpful. I hope uh, everyone is getting a lot out of this as, as much as I am. Every time I hear Bob, I learn something new. And part of it comes from Bob's great experience of 37 years on HSN, selling products live to, to an audience. There, there's, there's nothing like that. It's hard to distill down into less than an hour, everything we need to know, of course. Uh, but Bob does his best and, and certainly gave us some great nuggets of wisdom and learning. And we're going to talk about some other ways that you can learn more from Bob as well. But I want to talk about, as I mentioned going into this webinar, a little bit about my experience with OxyClean and a little bit of the overlap with HSN. Many of you probably don't know that OxyClean actually started, at least in a big way, on HSN. Before that, it had a little bit of retail. They were in some trade shows, but really where they started to make their presence known and really started to grow the brand was on HSN uh, back in the day, so many years ago. They grew their audience, they grew their revenues, and they put that then into TV infomercials, which exploded their awareness, got the attention of retailers across the country, and then put them on the map in retail. So now they're in over 50,000 retailers in the US and many countries across the world. So I was lucky enough to uh, work at OxyClean as a new product marketer, uh, running the Kaboom brand, as well as many OxyClean new product launches while I was there, uh, back in the early days before they were sold off in 2006 to a major conglomerate, a company called Church and Dwight. You've probably seen the OxyClean logo now on several retail packages of Arm & Hammer, detergents, etc. And that's because they bought the company back in 2006. Uh, so since then, I've been working at, at Harvest Growth, helping our clients, our inventors and entrepreneurs follow this same path that Bob talked about on HSN or live TV shopping, and then also through infomercials and then into retail. But I want to talk about specifically a little bit about the story of OxyClean and why they were successful. There were several other products at the same time, or roughly at the same time that were launched with OxyClean that are, are nowhere to be seen nowadays. And the biggest difference is video marketing. That's where OxyClean really got on the map where they really started to take off. They had some retail presence. They were actually in a couple thousand stores before they hit HSN, but they were struggling. When they started to use the power of video, that's when everything took off. That's what grew the brand, grew the awareness of the brand. Now, the beautiful thing is that was over 15 years ago that they started on HSN. It was in the late 90s. So nowadays, there are so many more ways to market a product with video that just weren't available back then. We have so many, many great options. HSN and QVC continue to be phenomenal resources, as well as infomercials to get on national TV very quickly. But also, we'll talk about some other ways uh, that you can market your product and through the power of video. So HSN or QVC or infomercials we've talked about, but also think about website videos. Using the power of video to market your product on your own website, on your social media platforms, et cetera. Also using YouTube marketing, not just to show your video, but actually advertise your video. Much like TV, you can promote your video on YouTube and get views, get people to watch it, just as if you're advertising on TV. It's an inexpensive way to get started with video marketing. Of course, webinars like this, it's a great way to whatever your brand is, whatever your business is, if it's not a consumer product that's going to end up in retail, webinars may be a great approach for you, whether it's a product or a service, almost whatever your business might be. And also pitch videos. This is one that's not often thought of, but if you're trying to get your product licensed by a major manufacturer, it might be a Kraft Foods like I used to work at, or it might be an as seen on TV company like Telebrands or All Star. One of the best ways to get in front of them is by sending in a video, we call it a pitch video, demonstrating exactly how your product works. These are powerful ways to market your product in very different ways, but all through the power of video. I want to talk about a couple examples of successes. I mentioned OxyClean. So they were sold off in 2006 for $325 million. And again, it really stemmed back to their early days in video. That's what created the brand and continues to drive that brand. So they are now the number one stain fighting product on the market. Another product that we've had the pleasure to work with is a product called Sonic Scrubber. They sold 10 million units on TV and through retail. And they really, again, were not on the map until they used and harnessed the power of video. First with TV infomercials. We drove it that way and then drove their awareness up, drove them through retail. 
Another one is a, a product that Bob has been selling on HSN for many years and continues to be very successful with. In fact, just recently, uh, just last month, in fact, he sold over a million dollars in a single day. This is after about 20 years of this product be on, being on HSN. It's called the Clean and Pure Water Filter. It's a phenomenal success and continues to be and is only sold through HSN. They only sell through video. Through live TV shopping is the only platform that they sell and it's a multi-million dollar business. This is just one example, one day of airings on HSN. So let's talk about a couple of our testimonials of people that Bob and I have worked with in the past and have helped to harness the power of video marketing to grow their brand. So this is a testimonial from Eric Hayes of Bona. If you're not familiar with Bona, they are the world leader in hardwood floor care. In fact, I believe that's their exact tagline. Eric said that their brand went on air for the first time thanks to our assistance, talking about us. Uh, since going on air with the DRTV advertisement, we have achieved exponential growth, including major new retail distribution in Safeway, Costco, Bed Bath & Beyond, Lowe's, Target. Bona is virtually everywhere now. If you walk into a Bed Bath & Beyond, they cover the store. They have several different locations in most of the stores. Same thing with Lowe's. They do very well at Target. And it's all because of video marketing. That's where they started. They were, now, they were a 100-year-old brand before we met them. Uh, they were around for a long time, but the awareness wasn't there. They used TV marketing or video marketing to really propel their brand awareness and get them into retail distribution. And when they got there, one of the beauties of video marketing is it drove people into the stores. It's not enough just to get to the store shelves. You've got to get customers in there to buy your product, and that's what video marketing does. Now, let me play you a, a testimonial as well from Gary Sullivan. Gary is a good friend of, of ours that we've worked with for a long time. He's currently at LenFest and formerly was with All Star Products. In fact, he's the one credited with bringing the Snuggie into All Star. So if you remember the Snuggie, a $300 million brand in their first 15 months in business from a few years ago. Uh, so Gary, one of his jobs is to bring new products into the companies he, he has worked at. Um, and this is what he had to say about working with us. Working with Harvest Growth has been a uh, has been a pleasure for for years, and that's the, uh, the the best part of my working relationship with John is it's been for years, and there's not just one project, there's many projects, and that's because of the success, the trust, and overall just the quality of work John and and Harvest Growth put in the time and the effort needed on every project. The true professionals, uh, I, I can't stress enough how you know they. they the level of detail is outstanding, and I just trust them. And I, I, I tell you, with if it was my baby, flash product, I would trust John and, and his team at Harvest Growth. They're outstanding producers, they're, and, and more importantly, in in this world, they're outstanding people. And I, I just really enjoy working with them. And I, I would, you know, strongly suggest working with them. And and I wish them the best in uh, on every project if they're working with Lenfest or not. Now, I love this industry, and I know Bob would say the same thing. Some of the people we get to work with, these inventors and entrepreneurs and representatives even of the big companies, are just great salt-of-the-earth people. So they're a lot of fun to work with, and Gary is certainly one of those as well. So you may be asking, okay, where do I start? So let's say you know, you've know you got a business. You maybe are trying to grow it. It may be brand new or it may be struggling for years, and you're trying to grow it. You know video marketing is the right approach for your business, but where do you begin? Where do you start? So let's talk about that. You could, there's a couple different options. You could hire somebody to produce and market your videos, certainly. That could be expensive. And even if you do hire it out, you want to make sure they're doing it the right way. So how do you know if the video is, it may look good, it may be beautiful, but how do you know it's going to be effective? And we've run into that with many of our clients where they've, they've tried in the past working with producers that create a beautiful video, but it doesn't sell. So we're going to teach you some principles on, on knowing how to, even if you hire it out, to make sure that the people you hire are doing the right job. We put together a training program, in fact, that will help you every step of the way with your video marketing, whether you're doing it yourself or whether you're hiring it out. And many people may start on their own with simple videos and then hire it out once they get to the point of going on TV with their, with their full infomercial. But we want to be able to make sure, make sure that you're able to market your product with the power of video and not feel alone through the process. So Bob and I put together the Harvest Video Marketing System. It's a 12 video training module series that is similar in content to what you started to hear tonight, but of course there's only so much we can get accomplished in an hour. So in these 12 modules, you'll learn how to craft the perfect pitch uh, to basically optimize your messaging, whether you're in a, in a webinar, whether you're in an infomercial or you're getting ready for live TV on HSN or a simple website video. This entire 
system is trained at helping you to market with the power of video, whatever approach you're using. And this first module by Bob is one of the best modules I've ever heard in terms of training and, and messaging. You know, even dating back to my MBA, all those marketing courses I've, I took, all the books that I've read over these years, uh, Bob really knows how to nail down the pitch because he's he's done it more than anybody. Uh, no one has, has, has pitched live as much as Bob has. So we also share with you our second module is a product launch roadmap. In fact, I just had a, a phone call today with a consulting client. This was the question he brought to me. He's like, I don't know where to begin. What's the roadmap I need to follow? And we walk you through step by step. Here is the roadmap you need to, to follow when you're launching a product. If you do things out of order, you can waste or spend too much money and you can uh, you can fail before you even get started but if you follow the right processes it makes that process it makes the project launch process that much easier and we'll walk you through exactly the process to follow in launching a product okay this next one is is called WizGat. it's it's a uh, it's a registered trademark by Bob it's not gonna make any sense right here but once you get into this hour-long training it's another messaging training with a, a patented or a, rather a trademarked technique that Bob developed through his many years of experience in live TV shopping and live pitching that is a very simple formula for you to follow to nail down exactly what your selling message should be. It's a phenomenal training as well uh, that you'll gain, you'll gain a lot of uh, knowledge from, but you'll be able to put that to use in all of your marketing endeavors, whether it's video marketing or not. We also teach you about video principles, so simple things about when you're shooting a video, how do you do it successfully, how do you do it effectively. So one example is many people when they shoot video, and this bothers me, I'm sure it does you too, as you get posted on Facebook, they shoot with their phone and they shoot vertical, right? So you see that vertical window, it just looks funny like it was shot with the phone. That same phone, if you flip it sideways, the power of those of these new phones these days, it, they're truly high def videos. No one knows it was shot with your phone. If you flip it sideways, it's a huge difference. Simple things like that. We'll walk through many video principles that will teach you everything you need to know to make sure your video is very effective and looks beautiful. Also, we'll teach you many uh, one to many direct selling principles. So how to sell. So like in this webinar, we put together a program where we talk to you, but we can talk to many, many people, hundreds and thousands of people at the same time. And we'll teach you some of the principles to follow. It's very different. Most of us have experience selling one-on-one. -on -one. It's different when you're selling to a large audience over TV, over the web, or in any kind of video. So we'll teach you those, those principles to follow. Also, market research. I'm a huge believer in starting off by researching your market, researching your product, your price point, your features and benefits, et cetera. And a lot of this you can do on your own. So back in my Kraft Foods days, we used to pay tens of thousands of dollars, sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars for very specific market research to help us prepare for a product launch. But I'll teach you how to do a lot of that for free or at least very inexpensively on your own, but also to do it right, not just to, to pin something together and get it done, but to do it right so it's effective research that you'll find value out of as you optimize your marketing campaign. We'll teach you internet marketing, right? So once you have your video done, how do you then take it online and grow your views, but also more importantly, how do you turn those views into sales? So I'll walk you through some, some simple principles to follow in your own internet marketing for your product your, or your business. Bob teaches a module, of course, on HSN and QVC and goes into more detail than we were able to tonight because of our limited time. So he goes into a lot more detail of, of how to effectively sell to HSN and QVC. And then once you get there, how to effectively sell on HSN or QVC to sell to the public. Finance. All right, this is not the most exciting one, by name at least, but it's a, it's a module I put together as a former CPA. That was my first career way back when, which I like to forget sometimes. Uh, but this is so important. Many campaigns, we've seen many, many people in this industry with consumer products torpedo their business because they don't understand the numbers behind it. They've got a great product, they're doing everything right except for managing their money. If you manage your money, even with a mediocre product, you're much more likely to be successful. And I'll walk you through some of those key principles to follow as you start to market your product. All right, retail as well. All this leads into, for many products at least, not every business of course, but if it's a fit, Retail can be a phenomenal way to really grow your business. And I'll teach you how to, how to pitch to retail, how to get your product into retail, and make sure you make it the most successful way. We also talk about license deals. So what if, if you go through all this and you say, you know what, I don't want to deal with this, or I don't want to raise the money, I don't have the funds to do it myself, I want to license to somebody. So we teach a course on how do you get a license deal and all, understanding all the intricacies, 
things to look for in the best licensed deals, things to watch out for as well. And then finally, we do a case study. We'll walk you through a live case study of an actual product launch and show you the ins and outs, things that they did right and wrong and that you can learn from and really apply directly to your business. So we get asked all the time, of course, right? What does this cost? These 12 modules on almost every topic possibly imaginable for launching, marketing your product with the power of video. Um, if you compare it to the other sides of our business. So if you come to Harvest Growth, for example, to produce a national TV infomercial, the average cost is about $30,000 for talent, location fees, the crew, scripting, editing, all that goes into that. That's a normal average video production cost. Well, of course, that's not... That's not where we're pricing this at today. Um, another option to hear from Bob and myself is we teach at a lot of live events over the course of the year across the country. Uh, many of these cost $7,500 or more to attend these live events. And you'll spend several hours with us, but in some ways, to be honest with you, you can't even go as in depth as we do in this system. Um, is, is able to, that, those live events. So of course, that's not gonna be the cost of this, uh, this recorded teachings we've put together. Now, Bob and I also do a lot of consulting. I've got a, a gig coming up in a week or two where I'm flying out to uh, to Southern, I'm sorry, Northern California, up in San Francisco area, to spend a day with a client of ours. And our daily rate typically to walk through the strategy of a, of a product campaign or launch or you know, it might be midstream or fixing a broken campaign, uh, we start at about $4,000, our daily rate. Um, I think Bob might charge more than me, but he's... He's been doing this a little bit longer, um, but that's where we start as, as far as a per day rate of one-on-one of -on -one in office or in-person consulting, but that's not what we're charging, of course, for this offer. Now, we've been selling the, the Harvest video marketing system as is, just as I've described it to you for over a year now for $997, but also as part of this webinar, that's not what we're selling it for at this point. So I will get to exactly what it costs, but I want to talk about some of the other things we're now including being in the Harvest Video Marketing System that I'm really excited about, that you'll find a lot of value from. One is that we do 12 recorded interviews with very successful inventors, entrepreneurs, successful marketers, uh, I would say expert coach coaches and teachers in the marketing space as well. So people that have experience, and they're not full-time coaches, but these are people that, that are good at what they do and they like to teach as well. So uh, one, for example, is a call center executive that's been in the industry for over 25 years and he shares how do you how do you do the best call center scripting etc but some of the other interviews we do we actually interview three shark tank participants that were clients of ours in the past uh, 12 months or so that actually aired on shark tank and we'll go through their experience of what it was like to get on the show how they were successful afterwards and some of the secrets to their success we talked to a very successful infomercial marketer as well a, a product that was taken onto tv and did very well as well as uh, we interview a, a $400 million as seen on TV marketing company representative. So an executive at one of these big companies that does a lot of licensed deals, brings products in and does very well with them. Uh, another is an, an entrepreneur that is over a million dollars a year on Amazon with a single product. And it's probably not one you've heard of. It's not a not been advertised elsewhere, but he's been very successful on, all, on Amazon. He teaches the secrets of, of being successful on Amazon. We also interview an HSN buyer. This is a very unique opportunity and really, frankly, could only be done with Bob's contacts uh, because they love Bob so much over there. They're willing to do that. But they actually, we sit down with a, an HSN buyer and talk about the process. You get a peek behind the tent, which is so rare and such a unique opportunity to hear, well, how do they make decisions on their end? We also talk to an international distributor that takes products from the U.S., across the entire country, uh, world, rather, over, over 150 countries that he goes into. And he talks about the process. How do you do that? So how do you get started with that? And, and is it right for you, for your business? As well as a grassroots retail marketer. So this is somebody that is a fun interview. She's a good friend of mine as well that's been really successful doing it the grassroots way. Uh, not spending a lot of money on advertising, but she's done uh, some videos and been very successful in retail. And many, many more as well that are included in this system. This is a $564 value just by itself, these recorded interviews that we do. But wait, there's more. We had, to, we had to throw that in, right? So Bob and I, we love this TV industry, and this is one of our favorite phrases. And of course, there's more in this as well. So we have a couple of bonuses we want to include with this. One is a swipe file. This is something, if you haven't heard that terminology before, basically it means this is a, a set of proven marketing examples that you can modify and copy, literally copy and paste into your business. So you can take these uh, email campaigns that were written and uh, copy strategies on video sales letter pages, et cetera, and, and literally 
copy the process and paste them into your business. It's a huge value. Um, we, we sell it for $97. I think it's worth a lot more than that, but we've been selling that for a long time for, for $97 by itself. Our second bonus is we do a, a weekly newsletter as well. It's an e-newsletter that, that gets sent out with timely and proven advice and examples as well. So uh, we want to make sure that you are always on the forefront and you'll, you'll be able to stay in this newsletter uh, system as long as you want to. There's no limit on, on time in this. Um, but we, we share our insights and examples and, and teach you, okay, here's what we're learning this week. Well, here's what's working on HSN, on infomercials, in retail this week. Things change all the time, uh, techniques, et cetera, change. And we want to make sure you're on the, on the up and up with all the modern and most recent examples as well. This is by itself a $228 value. We have people that buy in just to our, our newsletter system and, and to get this, uh, this information on a roughly weekly basis uh, and typically pay on average about $228 in total for that. So you add all these up, the, the video training modules, the recorded interviews, swipe file, the marketing newsletters, the total comes out to almost $2,000 in value when we've sold these as separate pieces, but we're bundling these this together, of course, not for that, but at a huge discount because Bob and I love to teach. We want to get the word out on how you can be successful and we want to hear about your success stories. So please share them with us. But of course, you're asking, well, what is the cost? So during this webinar, we're offering all of this it's almost a $2,000 value for $197. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna submit a look over in the chat box and you'll see there's a URL that you can go to that has, no, there's nowhere else you can find this because we sell this at higher prices on, on various websites, but for the webinar, it's the only place you'll find this. So if you copy and paste that, that URL, you'll be able to now take that into, uh, just drop it in your browser and you can uh, purchase this for $197. Now, I do want to mention, of course, we've got a, a 60 day, no questions asked guarantee on this. So, you know, this may be the first time that you've been in a class with, with myself and Bob, uh, but we want to make sure you feel confident and comfortable that you're going to continue to learn as much as you have learned tonight. And, and frankly, much, much more because you have you no know, time constraints with this new system or less, less, you know, fewer time constraints, of course. So we'll give you a 60 day money back guarantee. If you try this, listen to the entire system, listen to all the interviews, go through it and just find that it's not of value to you for whatever reason. Uh, no questions asked, just email us and I'll give you the contact information on the next page. Of course, you'll have it on the receipts as well. Uh, we'll cancel and refund it. Um, it's, we, we add this guarantee in here because frankly, we, we rarely see them. People find tremendous value in here, but we do want to, of course, honor this. If you, if for some reason you don't find value or we're not a fit, then uh, we, of course, uh, will refund your money with no questions asked. Now, as part only of this webinar, this is the only place you'll see this, as part of our webinar, we're actually adding in something else. This is called our DIY infomercial marketing system. I'm gonna go, to, gonna go over this pretty quickly in the interest of time, because I know you're all rushing to, uh, to other things and may have other questions for us as well. Um, but this is a seven module system. It's six modules plus a bonus including an OxyClean case study, the best vendors. And this is intended for if you're, if you're thinking about an infomercial, then this is the information you'll want to know. Hours and hours of instruction and a ton of examples. Uh, you can listen to telemarketing scripts. You can see examples of websites, et cetera. But we go over the best vendors. So who are the best vendors to work with for fulfillment, telemarketing, call centers, all those. Advertising copies. So taking those lessons on messaging we, we learned from Bob in the video marketing system and applying it to uh, TV infomercials. How do you write your copy? We'll give you some example scripts there. How do you get a license deal specifically in this industry? We talk specifically about that as well and go into more detail and uh, infomercials on the infomercial side of the business, as well as market research, again, specifically for infomercials. I'll teach you a system there that you'll be able to predict whether or not your product is going to be successful on a TV infomercial before you spend the tens or more of tens of thousands of dollars on a, on a campaign to get started. You can do market research to test it upfront. We'll teach you how to do infomercial production. Now this, um, you, you know, you literally can do it with an iPhone. Uh, if you do it on your own, I wouldn't recommend necessarily putting on national TV, but to start with a, a, a YouTube video of your infomercial, I'll teach you how to do it so it looks very professional. When the time comes to hire it out for a national TV campaign, uh, it may be a different story. But to get started this, I'll teach you the techniques that it will look beautiful and, and be very inexpensive to produce on your own just to get started with these early round videos. And our bonus module is online 
marketing. So we teach you, again, specifically if you're looking at an as seen on TV or infomercial type product, uh, some new techniques and different techniques. Now, a lot of this stuff in this system is even if you're not looking to do an infomercial, uh, much of this information will be very applicable to almost any type of business. Now, this normally by itself, uh, because it's a very specialized and spe uh, specific formulation uh, and system, it, it sells for about almost two thousand dollars. Nineteen ninety-seven is our normal price for this. That we've sold this for now over two years at that price point. So when you include that in, in here, we're throwing in in as a bonus. It's a, almost a four thousand dollar value. All of this we sell for just one hundred and ninety-seven dollars. Again, the if you look on the chat box, there's a URL there. If you copy and paste that into your browser, you can get this price point. But be sure to do that because there's no website you can go to find this. This is the only place you can find this particular offer. We do sell this system, but we do it by itself, and it's much more expensive, as, as I mentioned before. It's often sold for $997 just for the first module. So this is a, a huge deal. And again, a 60-day money-back guarantee. You, you really have nothing to lose in this. So I want to end this with a, with a Q&A session. We've gotten a few um, comments coming across in the chat box throughout this webinar that I want to address. Um, but here's also our our email address. If anyone has any questions that don't get answered, I certainly don't have the time to answer everybody's very specific questions on, on this webinar. I'm going to ask kind of the general ones that I've heard a few times from different people. Um, but if you have any specific questions you want to add, uh, feel free to email our team at info at harvestgrowth.com and they'll be sure to get back to you. If you have any issues in purchasing uh, the, the shopping cart or you lose the URL, feel free to send uh, an email to the same address as well, and we can we can send that to you because I know I, obviously we know who's on the webinar, and you guys stay around to the end if you have this email address. Uh, so we don't show this email address very very many places um, in our customer service center. So some of the questions we got uh, so far coming into this um, at the end of this presentation is will it work for my business? So I don't have a. Uh, and as seen on TV product, I've heard this question asked a couple different ways. Uh, maybe, maybe not a retail product or I have a service business. Now, absolutely, the Harvest Video Marketing System is intended to, to help you market whatever you have with video. And in my years of experience, I've never seen a business that can't benefit from marketing with video. Be you a local ice cream shop to obviously a product to a chiropractor to a, a national chain of uh, dentists, etc. Everything can benefit from the power of video marketing. Uh, it may not be on TV. It may be starting off online or through your social media campaign, or it might be a, a Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign that you're doing. You got to have video in almost anything you do to be successful. So yes, it works for for any business, and a lot of the stuff we teach is is uh, is applicable, especially if you think about the messaging uh, pieces that, that Bob teaches can be applied to anything, even outside of video. So if you're writing website copy, email copy. Uh, Pay attention to those messaging trainings as well. So I've, I've been asked, okay, what, do I, what exactly do I get with the, uh, the video marketing system? I imagine you're asking about how it's delivered, that kind of question. Um, once you sign up, you'll, you'll get an email from our team with a link, and you'll have, it's basically a membership site. You'll have access online to all of these resources, all of these trainings, hours and hours of content and the, the examples and uh, printable documents and things like that as well. Uh, it's all done online, and we'll send you a, a username and password. Again, any questions, feel free to, to email us if you have any issues at info at harvestgrowth.com. But watch for that email after you sign up. Looks like we've had a, a couple signups already. Um, I'd encourage you to get on that before uh, this, this training ends, or at least copy and paste that URL so you have it. John, if I can just jump in for a second, because another question that came in was uh, about the TV shopping business. How many units do they order? How many units do I need in order to get you know on a TV shopping channel? And of course, that answer is going to vary depending upon the price point and how many times the TV shopping channel wants to air it at what time of the day. Lots of variables, but let me let me just say, it, uh, suffice to say that you would be surprised at how few units they require uh, to get on the air. Many people think, well, I've got to have 25,000 of something in order to get on the air. That's not the case anymore. That was it years and years ago, but that's not the case anymore because the TV shopping channels want to test. They want test quantities uh, to see if, if it's going to be a successful product or not. So that was another question, John, that came in tonight. Thank you, Bob. That's That's sure. great. And I, I've seen a few other questions, but again, some of these are very specific. So I encourage you to, again, send us an email at info at harvestgrowth.com uh, with any questions that do come up. 
Um, Bob, anything else you want to add that you've uh, you've thought as we've gone through this? I, I just think it, the system is so complete. Uh, you you have done an outstanding job, John, in, in capturing the information from every imaginable angle of of this industry. No matter what you want to do, where you want to do it. It, it, you know, it's all covered by this system, no doubt about it. And as you uh, talked about a moment ago, the power of video, the power of video, as, as you said, John, no matter what the business service idea uh, happens to be, product happens to be, video is powerful. In, in the next hour alone, there will be over 5 million videos viewed around the world. And it's, it, it's just amazing if you're not using video in your marketing now, you're really missing out on a lot of sales. So uh, I, I can just heartily recommend uh, that you take advantage and be able to use video effectively in marketing what you have. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Bob. I, I appreciate your, your time you, here. This was a lot of fun. I, again, I encourage everyone to, if any questions you have, feel free to email us at info at harvestgrowth.com. Look to your chat box. Make sure you click on that URL. That uh, that price is, again, not available on any other website. So make sure you copy and paste it. Um, and if you have any issues with that, again, just send us a, a quick email. But thanks again for your time. We wish you the best of luck with your product launches. And we thoroughly enjoyed this and look forward to teaching everyone in this group, hopefully again.